sorry, so I'll start there. Um, hey people, it's Chen from CDJ Studios. I'm here with the coloring tutorial of uh, Stupid Kibble. Um, yeah. I got a traced copy of a uh, animation I'm working on. It's I got about three frames. One, two, and three. I like this one actually. <laughs> So, for this tutorial, you need to actually have a already inked copy of a drawing, or a drawing in general, and something to color with, like color pencils, my preferred type of me media. Um, markers, so just uh, Copics I have here. Pretty much anything you can color with, even watercolors, which I which I have here. I'm not gonna use these. Gonna stick to these. So yeah. I've been asked by a few people how I color my illustrations, so I'm gonna show some examples. This one I am very proud of. Uh, I enjoy this drawing here, if you can hear me. So yeah, I'm probably gonna come back to this one uh, in a bit. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna use color pencils. I'm thinking of giving this lady here green hair. Just laying down the pencils here I'm going to use. They also think about brown eyes or anything. Yeah. So these are the ones I'm going to use here. Move them out of the way. So I'm just gonna fill in with gray this area in the eyes. With color pencils, make sure you press lightly in the beginning and slowly press harder when you get to the colors. You need to uh, pretty much slowly build it up. It's a bit of a tedious process and you need to have good patience for it, but yeah, that's pretty much with everything with drawing. You need to have patience. I'm now taking out uh, this apple green and start with the lightest color. Or second lightest, I don't know really. So. Also one uh, thing is keep track where the light is coming from. Right now there are two bubbles in the eye, so the stronger lighting is coming from this side here. So I'm gonna make sure it Pretty much comes from this, and also the shadow around uh, under the chin here is also uh, pretty important. 
for this uh, to find out where where the lighting is coming from. So pay attention to the eyes and the shadow. I'm not gonna show the clothing uh, this time because that one can be really long, tedious, and I think kind of like this one. Well, this is why I put it off so long. Um. Remember, press lightly and slowly build up the color with quite a lot of layers. And don't be afraid if you uh, uh, put uh, on a second layer with a darker uh, color to go back to the first color and uh, layer over it again. Which is how I got the result of the eyes here, because it took a lot of layering and same for the hair here. By the way, this is uh, Blow from Black Ace. I really recommend the webtoon he's in. It's a bit slow at the start, but afterwards it gets going. I really recommend it. As you now can see, I have colored up part of the hair. Now I'm gonna do this little part here. Also, don't be afraid to um, just change the direction of the coloring. Uh, let's see, yeah, okay. So, show me open the camera. Oh, I forgot to ink uh, that. I'll fix it up later. <laughs> Also, no music uh, this time, <laughs> because it can get copyright strikes. Don't like it. So, as you can see, I've colored this part pretty lightly, and we're gonna add the second color. See how the color is already changing after just uh, one layer of a darker color? I'm also gonna move to the dark color and so uh, show how that uh, looks. And move back to this one. And back to the apple green. Which is a really nice color actually. And basically the rest of the hair is rinse and repeat. Also, you can probably hear my TV because I have to see on beyond. Should turn it off before recording, but meh. Not feeling it. It's really gonna be boring if I just show the, the color this all. You get the you get the process here. So let's move on to the eyes if I can find the right color to use. Oh look there's another skin color. Ah, that's the one. So for the eyes I'm just gonna and in the lightest shade. This is just one uh, process on how to, co how to colorize. <laughs> oh 
also gonna line up its pupil by pressing a bit harder. So. There we go. I'm gonna take the darker shade of brown. And shade. I'm going to use black for the bit darkest color. Turn on volume of the TV here. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Ron. And basically rinse and repeat until it looks right to you. And there we go. So really just coloring is just layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. Same for skin tones. Coloring illustration, uh, coloring my uh, drawings is pretty much the most fun part of the drawing, I think. But it's take it takes pretty long, but in the end, it's pretty much worth it. really need to get a better camera to uh, show these, but no, I don't have anything. I'm not sure if I have the money for it either. Also, one thing you can do for lips is add a bit of pink. doesn't really look that, that good. And even blushies, if you want. I normally don't add blushes. Looks cute though. Yeah, I also use brown in the skin tones because it gives a nicer effect. And it kind of softens them. Kind of makes it stand out. Grab the first skin tone and 
go over it for a second layer. I need to stop touching the camera. Or a lamp it's attached to. Wait, this thing's not a camera, it's MP4 with a camera. Yeah, that's basically how you color an illustration with color pencils or any type of media. Mostly color pencils here. Yeah. And that's how I color. <laughs> well, that's been another tutorial by me. Um, just gonna show you the illustration again because I want. And I like it. So yeah, that's basically how you color. And see you next time. Comment, subscribe, everything. And I just do it.